after experiments with twin crease, I discovered a few variations of making three stitches from one stitch, and the purest one is T increase. It is an absolutely symmetrical double increase. It results in flat fabric and can be used in many patterns, especially for raglan lines. This is video tutorial how to work knit and purl T increases. T increase is made in two steps. In the first row we create an elongated stitch by working a double wrap and in the next row we make three new stitches out of this long stitch. To unravel the double wrapped stitch slip it purlwise. Wind long loop around the left needle from front to back. Work the first knit stitch from this position and drop the first loop off the left needle. Work the second knit stitch as knit through the back loop by inserting right needle into the loop from the front. Do not drop loop off the left needle. Work the third knit stitch by inserting right needle into the second loop as usual, knitwise, and off the needle. T increase is totally symmetrical. Three new stitches grow out of one stitch below. Please watch again how to work knit T increase in English style of knitting. Slip the double wrapped stitch purlwise, wind long loop around the left needle from front to back, work the first knit stitch from this position and drop the first loop off the left needle. Work the second knit stitch as knit through the back loop by inserting right needle into the loop from the front. Don't drop it off the left needle. Work the third knit stitch by inserting right needle into the second loop as usual, knitwise, and off the needle. Here is T increase seen from both sides. It has a T shape, three identical stitches positioned in one line and two tiny holes on both sides of the base stitch. To work pearl T increase in preparatory row, knit stitch with double wrap. In the next row, make three new stitches from this double wrap stitch. Bring the yarn to the front and slip the double wrapped stitch knitwise. Wind the loop around the left needle from back to front and work the first purl stitch from this position and drop the first loop off. Work the second purl as usual by inserting right needle into the loop from the back. Do not drop it off the needle. Work the third purl stitch by purling the second loop through the back loop. Now drop it off the needle. I am unraveling the T increase to show the technique again, this time in English style. Bring the yarn to the front and slip the double wrapped stitch knitwise. Wind the loop around the left needle from back to front 
and work the first purl stitch from this position and drop the first loop off. Work the second purl as usual by inserting right needle into the loop from the back. Do not drop it off the needle. Work the third purl stitch by purling the second loop through the back loop. Now drop it off the needle. After a few rows, the T increases are stacked one over another. Knit and purl T increases look identical. They create a very even fabric and hardly noticeable, especially on the purl side. Here is a sample of raglan increases with symmetrical double increases stacked one over another. The T increases are worked in every second row into the same central stitch. At the end of this tutorial, I included the centered paired increases to compare this type of single increase with double T increase. They maybe look similar, but there is an important structural difference. Here there are two yarn overs before and after central stitch. and they are worked separately. First we work a yarn over twisted to the right, that is first single increase, then we knit the central stitch without any change, and then we make a second single increase by twisting the second yarn over to the left. Here it is the result two single increases are on both sides of central stitch. Compare it with the true double increase, T increase, with three stitches worked from one stitch. In the next video I combined 11 double increases.